Hi everyone, it's Sarah here again. Uh, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a video on the top 10 health foods that I can't live without and the foods that I eat on a daily basis. I'm pretty sure I'm going to ramble quite a lot, so I'm going to break it up into two parts. So this will be part one, and I'll have five foods in this one, and then I'll do another one next week, part two, which will have the other five. So I'm hoping this video will help you with some ideas on foods that you can incorporate into your diet and replace unhealthy foods with. Um, and I promise if you start eating these foods on a daily basis, you're not going to have space to eat crap food. And this food is so yummy and so filling. You're going to be full and energized and healthy and you'll start to see a difference. So I hope you enjoy. All right, number one is Greek yogurt. This is something that I eat every single day and I'd probably eat every meal if I could. Um, I have no idea what I was eating before I was eating Greek yogurt because I am obsessed. <laughs> I eat it all the time. Um, the Greek yogurt I get is from Aldi. The majority of the foods I get are from Aldi because it is slightly cheaper. Um, there are some foods that I get from Coles or Woolworths as well, so I'll let you know. So this is the Greek yogurt that I get. It is Litos, Greek style natural yogurt. Greek yogurt is great. It's really good to fill you up. Um, it is a good source of calcium. It has no preservatives. It's a source of protein, suitable for vegetarians, and there's no artificial colors or flavorings. Um, so how I eat Greek yogurt. I eat it every meal. <laughs> um, so I, you can use Greek yogurt for so many things. I have it every morning on my breakfast. I'll insert a picture of my two favorite breakfasts now. my Kamut Puff favourite, which I'll talk about in a minute, and then my Protein Pancake favourite, which I'll leave a link to the recipe down below for you. Um, but I will put this in both of those, so I have it on my breakfast. Um, I'll have it as a morning snack with fruit. I will have it in a whole wheat wrap and use it as a spread for lunch so that it um, folds up and stays. I have it as an afternoon snack mixed with some protein to help bring the glycemic index down a little bit. Um, and then I'll have it in dinners. I'll replace cream with Greek yogurt. I'll have it as a side. I'll have it dolloped on top of like a chicken dish. Um, I have it as a dip. I have it for dessert mixed with honey and some fruit or some nuts. Um, it is such, it's probably the most versatile food that I eat. So I think you can use Greek yogurt for almost anything. It is amazing. And I highly recommend you try it out um, and see. If you're normally used to eating just regular yogurt, it may take a bit to get used to, but you do get used to it. I can't live without it now. Okay, so my second food is Kamut Puffs. And Kamut is actually an ancient grain. Its full name is Kurosan Wheat, and it comes from Iran. Um, kumut is really gentle on the stomach, um, which is why I really enjoy eating it. So I eat the puffed version um, and I have it for breakfast almost every day. Um, the one I get, I get from Coles and this is the Abundant Earth Organic Puffed Kumut. Looks like that. So an interesting fact about kumut is because it has a higher percentage of lipids in it, um, it will actually give you more energy to your body than carbohydrates would. So it is classified as a high energy wheat. So it's perfect for breakfasts and people who are looking to stay fuller for longer um, want to have that energy leveled out for during the day. Um, so I absolutely love having this for breakfast. And of course I have it with Greek yogurt. I actually have it with most of the foods I'm talking about today. Um, but it's really... Um, crispy, like crunchy. Um, it's almost a buttery taste, like it's not overpowering in its taste. It's pretty bland, which is why I like mixing it with things. Um, but it doesn't get soggy, which is what I really like, because I mix it with Greek yogurt and it doesn't get soggy. There's still a bit of crunch to it. Um, so it's really tasty. Number three is chia seeds. 
Um, you probably have heard about chia seeds before. It has become one of the superfoods of the world. People rave about it. Um, I love it. It's great to add into foods to give you a bit more energy, a bit more of a kick. So the chia seed that I get is the Nature First Premium Breakfast Booster Chia Seed. And as you can see, I'm running low. <laughs> I need to get another one. Um, but it says on the packet that chia seeds is a delicious yet mild ancient super seed and the highest known plant source of omega-3s. Plus, it's rich in protein and fiber. Chia is gluten-free and it's delicious sprinkled on cereals, yogurt, or fruit. I don't know if you can see here, but they're tiny little grains, little seeds there, um, which are perfect to add into things. You don't even notice that you're eating them. An interesting fact about chia seeds is that it's actually got, um, it's gelatin-based, so if you add it to liquid, it becomes gelatin-based style, gelatin based, um, so it absorbs all of the liquids, so it turns into a jelly consistency, um, which makes it perfect to have desserts with. Um, so I'm going to do a little experiment with you here, well, not an experiment, I'm going to show you. So I've got a glass of water here with just a little bit of water in it. I'm going to add some chia seeds to it, and then at the end of the video I'll show you what has happened. Um, it's pretty interesting if you've never seen it before. So, just uh, pour some chia seeds in there and swirl it. <laughs> um, so I'm going to leave that sitting. Oops. I'm going to leave that sitting there, and then at the end of the video, I'll show you what. The ways that I eat chia seeds, I sprinkle this on the top of my breakfast with the kumut puffs and the Greek yogurt in the morning. Um, and then I add this to smoothies as well if I'm going to drink them straight away. And then I really like making desserts with this. So I get some chia seeds in a cup and I put in some mixed berries that I have melted in the microwave. Um, and then a little dollop of honey, a little bit of coconut water and I put it in the fridge, leave it there for 10 minutes. And then when you come back it's like a little pudding. Um, and it's really yummy. So that's a really good way to eat it. Um, it's really versatile, something you can add to all types of things, all types of foods, you can throw it in. It's good in recipes for the crackers and muffins, um, banana bread, things like that. So it's a really good food that you almost don't notice that you eat, I would say. It's a good way to add the omega-3s and the proteins to your diet um, without having to try too hard. So good for a lazy girl like me. <laughs> Next up we have dried fruit. Um, fruit is going to be another one on my next one which I'll talk about but dried fruit is a great snack too. Um, some of the dried fruits I have in my cupboard at the moment are dried apricots, dried cranberries and dried apples. Um, so I love these as a snack. Um, it's great for a morning snack, afternoon snack. Um, I use majority of the time I use dried fruits in baking. Um, I really like making my own snacks and then I always add dried fruits in. I make protein bars which I add dried fruits into. Um, I make these really yummy apricot coconut bite balls um, which I'm going to do a recipe of in my blog so I'll link that recipe below for you. Um, it's just an easy way to get a quick snack on the go and you don't have to do too much. One tip as well for when you're looking for dried fruits, um, just check the ingredients in them because some dried fruits add sugar to it, which you don't need. Fruit has fructose sugar in it anyway. Condensed in a dried version, it is very sweet. Um, so this one, the ingredients in it is dried apricots. Oh, that's not apricots. <laughs> the ingredients in this is dried apples. The ingredients in this one is just apricots and just cranberries. Um, make sure you don't get any that have anything else in them. They don't need anything else in them. They're perfect just as they are. Um, yeah. Alrighty, the last one that I'm going to talk about today in this video is nuts. Um, when I wasn't living such a healthy lifestyle, I never ate nuts. I didn't contemplate eating nuts. Um, but now I eat nuts every day and day. 
Um, <laughs> I get most of my nuts in packet form. Um, I get them from Aldi just because it is a little bit cheaper. Um, they can get expensive. Some nuts like pistachio nuts are quite expensive. Um, but most of them, if you get them just packeted, they're okay. Um, so some that I have today here are pecans. I have walnuts, which I'm obsessed with at the moment. Love walnuts. Um, I've got almonds. And then I've also got a fruit and nut mix as well. So that's a perfect snack to have a handful of this in the afternoon with a cup of tea or a coffee is great. It's really filling, gives you energy, keeps you going for the afternoon without having that sweet tooth attack. Um, so that's really good. This is easy because it's already like combined all of the seeds and nuts and fruit together. Um, but if you have particular favourites, I sometimes like to just mix up some almonds, some apricots and some walnuts. Like you can make your own combinations, which is really good. So that is what I tend to use nuts for as just a snack. Um, I do also use them in my breakfast. I will pick one and just sprinkle it on top of my breakfast in the morning as well um, for that extra good healthy fats and protein source to get me going. Um, I also really like using nuts in baking as well that in my little apricot bite ball recipe. Um, I put them in protein bars, I put them in muffins, banana bread, just saying all the same snacks I eat. Um, but yeah, so they're really great to mix in with things as well because they give you that extra source of energy um, and they're really filling. Okay, so that is the end of part one of my top 10 healthy foods that I cannot live without. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you did. Um, let me know if you guys already eat these foods and how you eat them because I love finding new ways to um, use ingredients. Uh, let me know if you're going to try these now and if you like them. Um, and let me know if there's any other videos you'd like to see. I will do part two, um, my final five foods as well. Um, that'll come up next week and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, and I can't forget the chia seeds. So you saw the water in the chia seeds. Now look at it. It's like a, um, a jelly consistency. So the chia seeds have absorbed all the water there. Cool, huh? I love it when food does interesting things like that. <laughs> so I hope this helped you, gave you some ideas, um, and I hope that it helps to get you into a healthy lifestyle if you're not. I hope that if you are in a healthy lifestyle that it's giving you some more ideas. And overall, I just hope you liked it. Give me a thumbs up if you did so that I know, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you.